So, I'm going to now take my 20 blade and I'm going to come back around the land area. And I'm going to trim this pretty close to where I want to be. So I'm trimming it at the I'm trimming it at the land area. All the way around. And I'm just going to get rid of this excess cuz I don't need it. And now I have now I have this roll that is you know, not exactly adhered to itself, but it's filling the depth of that vestibule. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the excess up and thin it out a little bit. And if you find that you have too much, you can take some more of it off. So that's going to get really thick in that area. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. And then come back and adapt it. You're going to find that you want your hands to be really clean when you do this because if they're not, you're going to get all of this material in your record base. And I like to take my, my 20 blade as well and kind of just slightly pull it away from the, the wall. Not a lot because I want it to fill the depth of that vestibule and the width, but I also don't want to get it locked in there, so I don't mind to come back and just make it a little bit shy of the width. And this instrument will smooth it, a uh, wet fingertip will smooth it, a little bit of Vaseline on your finger can help you smooth it. Vaseline's not going to hurt it as long as you don't use a whole lot. And you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so it's going through the hamular notch area here to the depth and the width of the vestibule everywhere else. It's nice and smooth, well adapted to the cast. Now the last thing I want to do before I cure it is I want to put my grooves in it. Okay, so I just take my 20 blade and I go along, slightly buckle to the crest of the ridge in one direction, and then I come back and do it. I'm not piercing all the way through. I'm just scoring the top part. Okay, so I'm not putting a lot of pressure, just enough to put little grooves, and now I'm going to cure this.